Hi, it's me again. I wanted to um, remind people that I'm still here. Uh, it's been a while since I posted, but uh, you know how life is. Sometimes it gets a little crazy, a little hectic, and things like that. So anyway, I'm still working on the disability and stuff. Uh, um, I'm a bit closer to getting some sort of answer on that issue. Um, but today I wanted to talk about something a little more inspirational. What happened was um, basically um, I've been having to deal with some, um, I wouldn't call them emergencies, well, sort of, semi-emergencies that have come up in my life. And it, they sort of just bombarded me, uh, the emergencies did. And so I've had to sort of figure out uh, everything, and um, and so I've I sort of lost my train of thinking, and I couldn't think straight, and I was feeling overwhelmed with just gloom and doom. The th I thought there was no possibility that I could get out of these issues. Uh, and I didn't know what to do. I just had all these ideas and I couldn't focus on just one of them. And uh, if you've ever had ADHD um, or a disability of any kind, that can be very hard uh, to focus on one thing when everything seems to be bad or um, getting worse. So anyway, so... <sighs> I, pray, I prayed about it. Most of you who have been uh, following my channel have, know that I'm a Mormon and know that uh, that praying is a, a big part of Mormonism, uh, as in any Christian religion, frankly. But um, anyway, I prayed about it, and I pretty much asked the Lord to guide me to have me centered and to have me have clear thoughts and a clear direction as to what to do about these certain situations. Um, and no answer for two days. I didn't have any answer. I couldn't figure out heads or tails of what I was supposed to do. Well, anyway, um, I went with my mom to one of the, one of the downtowns here in Minnesota. And... Um, I just got inspired to go to one of the homeless shelters to see if maybe volunteering and maybe to serve food or something like that would uh, be beneficial to get my mind clear, to get me thinking about somebody else other than myself. Um, sometimes thinking of other people help you um, center yourself. So anyway, so I did that and, f and the... The area that I was at, uh, they weren't open, um, they were not open, uh, when I was there. They were actually closed, um, and, the, but they had, um, some sort of truck there, um, that was giving out food in in bags they were it was I think it was a hot meal of some sort anyway maybe a cold meal but I would assume hot considering it's cold outside but um, and then there was another sort of van giving out um, stuff uh, um, mittens hats and some micro blanket which all of us who've ever lived in the cold know that micro blankets are not something you want to be wearing outside um, and I, I saw this girl that had a bright pink uh, snowsuit on, and she was telling her mom that she was she didn't like it. She didn't. She wanted a jacket. She didn't want to wear this snowsuit anymore. And her mom said that, well, I can't afford a jacket. And they were hoping that maybe that truck was giving out jackets, but it wasn't. And I just decided at that instant to give her my jacket. I gave her my jacket. I walked off. I got back in my car and drove off. And I gave her my jacket. And I think that at that point in time, when I got in my car and I drove off, I 
the inspiration came to me that now I can clear, think clearly. I have a directive now. I'm not so spaced out, I guess, would be a good term. So um, the, the reason I told you that story is that sometimes during the holidays or during semi-crisis or crisis situations, we tend to, as human, humans do, uh, sort of think, oh my God, and freak out and can't think straight, we can't do anything. We just sit there and worry, 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 and get ourselves in a frenzy uh, to the point where we can't think straight about anything. So, um, and I think that um, with the belief in God and the belief uh, that I have in the Book of Mormon and things like that, I was able to uh, come down from that scatterbrained area and come down to being centered and to being um, thinking of others and uh, that's what that's what we all need to remember is that uh, we're not the only people in this universe and that there are people less fortunate than us and we may have a crisis now and then but to uh, one of the stories I heard from one of the guys was that he hadn't ate for 10 days and we take so much for granted uh, you know, I take my internet for granted. I take, you know, I've taken lots of things for granted. <laughs> and the whole point basically is that, um, sure, we have problems, but they're not as bad as if we were living on the streets. Um, I couldn't imagine. I've never really had, <laughs> I've never lived on the streets. I've been really poor. Don't give me that. I mean, don't, don't think I've been rich or anything, but. I've been poor and I've had to, uh, you know, get a lot of hand-me-downs growing up, but I've never lived on the streets. And so, I've always, I've, it just gives you a different perspective. Um, so if you can um, ever have a chance to serve food to the homeless or to sit down and talk to them, you're going to realize that um, you have a lot more blessings than you account for as well. Um, I want you to know that uh, by doing this active service, uh, I w didn't go out there to do that. I mean, I was out there to support my mom in some something she had to do, but I uh, my intention was not to give away my jacket off the, my back, my, the jacket on my back to somebody else. Um, but it just happened that way. The Lord works in mysterious ways. And uh, I hope that this inspires you to be kinder to people that uh, may have less than you. Uh, especially your school-aged people. Alright, well, this concludes this portion of uh, my, my journaling. Um, thanks again, and... Uh, I hope that jacket uh, really warmed that kid up that day. And uh, I hope the people that are teasing her um, will no longer tease her. Um, because it's, I, I can't imagine teasing somebody who, who is homeless or who, you know, can't afford a jacket, you know. I don't know where these kids get off on that kind of stuff, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's those kids that need to sit in those homeless shelters and talk to the homeless people and get a perspective on what, what caring, caring, an in, caring for an individual that you don't know, how that can be uh, inspirational. All right, well, you guys have a great day, and thanks again. Uh, don't forget to... Um, Kick, uh, click on the subscribe button. Um, I generally talk about uh, cerebral palsy and things like that, uh, medical stuff, uh, my just a journey of my life. So if you're interested in my life, um, <laughs> um, then obviously if you're watching this video this long, you are. So hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notices of upcoming videos. All right. Have a great day and God bless.